we should. My name is my name is Stefan Brunhuber. I'm a member of the WAS and the Board of Trustees, and um, I'm a medical doctor, psychiatrist in one side and the other side. I'm involved since years in financial engineering and sustainability. And during the last two years, I got involved into a debate with political scientists on uh, global governments. <clears throat> And this is why I applied to discuss this topic with you. It's about politics in the Anthropocene. And if you look at it from the discussion of political science, it started in the 80s with a paper of Oechselheim, who stated a curiosity saying, whatever global governance we're talking about, we're always trapped in a so-called global impossible trilemma. We're all, whatever we're doing, we are trapped between sovereign monetary policy, fixed exchange rates, and free capital flow. And there was a 20-year discussion about that in the global governance debate that we only can have two out of the three. Pick two, any two, but never three. And this Trilemma, to some extent, led the discussion within political science over 10, 15 years. And Danny Roderick, Harvard University Political Science, published in this debate a new article, basically leading the field, saying this idea of global governance, this idea of global uh, politics is trapped in the so-called global trilemma. We can only have two, pick two, but never three. So for example, we can go for nation states and democracy, but then we cannot deepen economic integration, like global governance. Then we end up with the Bretton Woods Compromise. We can have we can choose nation states and deepening economic integration, but then they will not have democratic politics. We end up with the golden straitjacket. Or we, as a world community, decide to have democratic politics and deepening economic integration, but then we basically uh, have to give up nation states. This is a debate in political science on global governance leading, coming from the US out of the last 10, 15 years. And what I would like to discuss with you, behind this debate on global governance, there is an unquestioned assumption. And the unquestioned assumption is the monetary and financial system. This is the thing I would like to discuss with you. If we had a different monetary and financial system in place, the whole governance governance debate you're going to have the next three days and the whole governance debate you're having in media in politics on a national and international level would be completely different. If we had another financial system we would be able to reduce both straight and increase independent monetary policy. This is something I would like to discuss with you. We would be able to reconcile global federalism and regional self-efficacy and we would be able to integrate global economy and a Bretton Woods-like compromise. So my question is, or my statement I would like to discuss with you, <coughs> is we are talking, when you're talking about global governance and we're missing to discuss the structure of the monetary and financial system, we only can pick two, any two, but not three. But if we discuss the limits and the potentials of the financial system, we can pick three and have it all. Thank you very much. Thanks.